watched this event for weeks. <laughs> Most of the talk from Glenn Beck was about God and patriotism. What did he say, if anything, that you found troubling? Well, first of all, talking about God and on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. I, I, by the way, whatever the numbers Haven't were, preachers done that two hundred thousand or whatever. Uh, I was there yesterday. I went down there. Okay, uh, and I tell you, I thought I was at a camp meeting, an old-fashioned religious camp meeting. I don't think that's appropriate on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. But uh, two things. Why is it this not was, appropriate? Let's stick with that. Why is it not appropriate? Uh, because it, it it is a it is a sacred spot. Number one, I don't think it should be turned over to be a political or or a religious rally. It was both, in my opinion. It was political. Not that he ever mentioned the word Obama. But you can't bash Obama five days a week on the radio and television and then stand up on the, on the Sabbath and be a so non So in other words, you person. objected to his presence. Let me, let me turn to Matt Lewis. By having Sarah Palin as another featured speaker, didn't Beck give his critics some ammunition that sees a bunch of conservative Republicans uh, on this spot that is freighted with so much because of right. the speech. Well, first, let me just respond to, to what Bill said quickly. Say that the, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. might have thought differently about invoking God. I think that uh, it is consistent and appropriate to do so at the Lincoln Memorial. But you're right. I think symbolically having Sarah Palin there, although I think everything she said was entirely appropriate and classy, it does open the door for those who want to say that he invoked politics into it. Well, you know, the Reverend Dr. King was a reverend. The Reverend Glenn Beck is not a reverend. And we do have separation of church and state. I don't know if we have separation of church and state. But he has a right.